Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today I have quite a lot to say about a new foundation from Estee Lauder. It is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Long Wear Foundation. That's a mouthful, and I've got quite a bit to say about it. Plus, we're going to do an eight hour on camera wear test and I'll pin below some more. So we got an eight hour wear test. No, nah, you don't have to wait through the eight hours. I'll do that for you. And we have all sorts of other stuff to compare it to. When we hear Estee Lauder double wear, what do we think? Well, if you have been around the makeup industry or interested in makeup for some time, you have probably tried Estee Lauder Double Wear. It is kind of the queen of full coverage foundations. One of the best out there. It's really hard to beat Estee Lauder Double Wear. It's been around forever. Your mom probably used it. And like I said, if you're looking for a full coverage foundation, it's still tough to beat. So kind of interesting that for summer, they have introduced the Estee Lauder Double Wear sheer. I don't know if that still counts as double wear. Uh, there's a lot to be talked about in there. It kind of becomes, you know, there's a double wear powder, there's double wear concealer. It kind of becomes a brand within a brand. And we see that with Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. We see that with NARS and their O word. I don't want my video taken down. Never know what happens. But they have um, an O, NARS has an O word for everything from blush to, you know, can openers and the car seats, right? So um, it becomes that. So the original double wear, of course, has done so well for Estee Lauder that, you know, they name everything that. And this, they're trying to just tell you that this is a really good foundation. In reality, it is a sheer long wear foundation. It has an SPF 19, not 20, not 15, 19. <laughs> Um, and it is matte, it is weightless, um, and it is $43. I bought mine in 2N1, which is called Desert Beige, which generally is the shade that I would wear in the original, um, the original long wear foundation, uh, which I have decluttered. I am not a full coverage kind of lady. So for me, I had it, of course, um, kind of everybody has, right? but I'm, I don't have it around, it got older and I'm not a full coverage type person. But let's compare the two because if you are, you might like this as a little bit of a change of pace. Sometimes we want something a little bit lighter and sheerer. Okay, so as I told you, this is $43. And the long wear 24 hour full coverage is also $43. Same price, both have one fluid ounce of product. So you're getting the same amount of product. The product actually looked a little, a little small to me, but it is one fluid ounce, which is exactly the same as its sister product in the full coverage. This little guy is 12 hour wear, as opposed to its big sister, the full coverage, which is 24 hour wear. Who tests 24 hour foundation? I, 12 hour, we're getting close to our test today. This is sweat resistant, humidity resistant. It doesn't clog pores. Listen to this, no scent and oil free. No scent is so refreshing to put something on your face and not have to sniff it all day. Thank you. There is, and when it says no scent, it means it. So my friends out there who are concerned about that, absolutely scentless. It is um, weightless, it is comfortable, and like I said, it has an FPF 19. I don't like SPF in foundation. I'm not really a fan of master, you know, jack of all trades, master of none, as the expression goes. I like to put my own SPF on. Um, but you know, I, it's fine as long as I use it up. If I let this stuff sit around with SPF, it will give me blemishes. So this will be one that I'm going to have to use right away, which is kind of cool by me because I'm kind of in the I'm in the market for a new one. I'm kind of running through my weightless sheer foundations. Um, this has 26 shades as opposed to the long wear full coverage has 55 shades. Why only 26 in today's marketplace where we love inclusive shade ranges? Well, because it's sheer. So you can kind of eeny, meeny, miny, mo it and pretty much do okay. If you're in the ballpark, you could bronze it up or powder it up, powder it down, I should say. And I think I did pretty good with my 2N1 Desert Beige. Looks a little light, but as you can see, I'm wearing it now and it wasn't too bad. So once again, we have a matte, oil-free, scent-free, perfume-free, comfy, lightweight foundation from Estee Lauder that is $43. So um, I will tell you already, I like it and I am 
the I think I'm a good judge of these kind of sheer uh, weightless foundations because they are my favorite. Um, and it is, it does not, it's, you know, it's really good. It feels for, um, I have normal skin, but I could see this being worn quite easily by someone with either dry skin, especially with a dewy primer or more of an oily complexion. I think this would work as well. Kind of think it's a real winner, guys, but I don't want to do any sort of a spoiler really because we got a wear test coming up. I'm going to show you different looks on each side of my face. Then we're going to even it out and we're going to do some check-ins. We actually get a full eight hours of wear. So definitely stick around to see what that looks like. Oh, and real quick, because I don't think I showed you in the demo, you definitely want to shake it up. And let me show you how it comes out of the bottle there and how it comes down. It's very, very viscous, very runny as you saw it come out of the little tube and down my hand. So we are definitely sheer. So I wanted to, I don't know if I did that in the demo. So real quick, I just wanted to make sure that you saw this and the shade looks a little bit light for me, but as you can see, I have definitely made it work. It's very much like a kind of a skin carry hybrid, which I'm, I'm kind of into now. Okay, now to the demo. Okay, I got my hair back because, you know, this is serious business here. All right, so here's how I'm going to do it. Mm, perhaps a bit unusual, but I want to put one side of my face with this sheer foundation solely, okay? Then we want to do the other half of the face the way I would normally wear foundation, which is with some sort of a dewy primer underneath. Um, for today, I'm going to use this Melt sex foil because I've really been liking it under makeup. So we'll do one and one. Then I'll kind of even out <laughs> my face a little bit. And I just, I'm going to do one and one just for you to see how it looks. Okay. Then I'll kind of even that out and put some other makeup on and then we'll do a little bit of a wear test as I go along. But let's just kind of do one thing at a time. This is a sheer foundation. So I'm going to shake it up a little bit and we'll see if I need to bronze it up and how I did on the color choice. Looks like a little light. Okay, let's see. Whoops. So this is shade 2N1 Desert Beige. Looking a little light. That's okay, I can bronze it up. I really, to be honest with you, I, I like a little light better than a little dark, especially in a sheer foundation. And that works. I mean, look, it's a little bit light. You know, if I were at the counter, I think we probably could have done a little bit better, but I'm not panicking. I'll bronze it up, you'll see. And this is just, oh, it's nice and sheer and comfy. I'm trying to do just half my nose here. So I'm trying to be as precise as I can. And you see, I have some blemishes and such today that will definitely need some concealer. It's a little light, but these sheer shades are so forgiving. I really am not too worried, you know, cause I'm gonna add on blush and I'm gonna add on some bronzer. Goodness knows I can't live without my bronzer. So there we go. There's kind of one very generous layer using the Sonia G Lotus brush here. Okay, so first, first off, we have this side of my face with just the double wear sheer long wear foundation and this face, this side of my face <coughs> with none. Okay, let's do a few pumps of this sex foil and I did a nice generous few pumps and then I'm gonna do a nice generous few squirts of this. It is a very liquidy foundation and I'm just gonna mix it around on the back of my hand like a palette and this is how I would probably wear this because I like a bit of a dewier foundation. And yes, I will always put it over <laughs> my eyes too. Oops. I just kind of got so excited. I almost salivated. Okay. So that gives it a little bit more of a glisten. And you know, I spread my, I did my face in half as best I could. And I put a lot of it on. Okay. So I'm going to obviously have to even this out because one side I have a glow and one side I don't. I'm going to do both sides glow. That will be fairly easy to even out. But I just wanted you first to see, let's turn again, forget the blemishes. I will need some concealer, as I said. Here's one side of my face with just the foundation just applied to a clean face. And here we go using a sort of dewy primer. The reason I am choosing this way for the rest of the face, not only is it easier to kind of do up, D 
D-E-W up this side, but also this is how I would wear it. I wouldn't wear a matte foundation, just matte. I would probably either mix it like that or use kind of a primer. I guess I mixed it, I didn't really prime. But that is what it would look like. So now, let me go off camera real quick and just make the sides match. I just wanted you to see, in case you are someone who will wear foundation just alone, what the matte looks like there. All right, let me even it out and then I'm going to come back and we'll do a little bit of a wear test and see how it does around the nose, the red spots, all that kind of stuff. So say right there. Okay, I got ready for the rest of my day, put on just a little bit of makeup. All the details, of course, and links will be below. It's the new NARS palette, the Climax palette, which I'm enjoying, and just a little bit of concealer as you'll see, because I needed that. I also kind of went with, for the rest of the face to even it out, I kind of went in between Dewey. The uh, Melt product, Dewey product is on there, but I kind of mixed in a little bit more of the foundation. And it, I will tell you, it is extremely light and extremely comfortable. And for me, kind of a good thing to have because I'm starting to run out of that Tarte Hydro Flex, is it, that I just, or that I love? What is that Tarte um, that I absolutely love? Um, and I kind of needed a replacement. And I don't like to rebuy that much. I like to try new things and force myself out of my comfort zone a little bit. Um, I am liking the shade. Granted, it is mixed with something a bit dewier that has a little bit of color to it, but I didn't really feel I had to bronze up too much. I actually think the color works. You know, they stretch a little bit more, these shades, because they're so sheer. Let's, um, okay, it's 6 a.m. I don't know if I mentioned, because I get up and get started much earlier than this, you guys. I'm a wreck by the evening, but I do start early in the morning. So let's see, let's check in maybe around noon or one and see how it's going. I will see you then. Okay, we got a better wear test here going than I thought. I just put my hair back. And for full disclosure, please know that I did add a little bit of the Patrick Ta lip gloss before coming here to film. That hasn't stayed on six, since 6 a.m., but it is almost 2 p.m. now. So we're getting a really good wear test. Let's take a look here at what you think. Let me get my mirror. Okay, I got my mirror. We are at about almost eight hours. What did I do during those eight hours? Not too, too much today. Um, you know, I didn't exercise with this on. I've mostly been running some errands and doing some work, frankly, around the house. I did some press releases for Tommy Bahama today, because you guys know I, I, I work in fashion, so, and beauty, but that's what I did today. So let me see right here. You know what, not bad. Okay, here's what I did in terms of fixing up the makeup through the day. I would look in the mirror and I will be honest, if this were looking a little red, I would kind of do this. I didn't add more, but I, I'm, it's kind of a habit. I will smooth, you know what I mean? I will kind of smooth and help a little bit, but I didn't add anything. So let's see where the wear is showing. Well, this is a sheer foundation. I definitely see, and I'll zoom you in, some red here. I have never found a foundation that doesn't show that. It's why I generally would use maybe a um, yellowy color corrector. I get red there, I have allergies. Um, here, let's look under the eyes a little bit, little bit lines into the lines. It's been eight hours though, and it's very, very sheer. So I definitely feel under the eyes and around the nose, oh, around the mouth a bit, a bit. I am kind of making up things to complain about. I mean, for an overall look, unless you were standing right in front of me analyzing, which obviously we are going to do because we're talking about whether or not you spend your money on this product, so I get it. But if somebody were just talking to me, I do feel confident. I don't feel like my face looks a wreck or tired or anything like that. But that is the areas where it wears, and these are the typical areas on me it wears. And I'm betting on you, you know, kind of under the eyes, here, here. Now, some could say that's also the concealer, and there's a little bit of concealer there. Certainly true, but we wear the makeup all at the same time. So let me know what you think. I am finding it extraordinarily comfortable. So nice that it doesn't have a fragrance. Really light and airy for summer, and actually quite nice. This is a lovely little foundation. Yes, it's not giving you full coverage, it doesn't promise. It says sheer right on the bottle. So um, 
Yeah, I'm actually super impressed. What do you guys think? Did you know this was released? Are you a fan of the Estee Lauder double wear? Um, is it still double wear if it's sheer? Is it single wear? I don't know. Let me know in a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. I will pin a comment as I'm gonna obviously wear this for quite a few more hours and let you know how it came along. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.